Hi, my name is Abigail Olek and I'm the founder of Bow Bronze and Spray Tanner to the Stars and now I'm going to share with you my top tanning tips. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to get the perfect tan at home and I'm going to demonstrate on my arm. Okay, now basically, before you apply any fake tan at home, you want to make sure that your skin is really hydrated, silky smooth, and really very well exfoliated. Because if you don't, if you've got any of those dry skin cells, dead skin cells on the skin, when you apply your fake tan, in a couple of days, it's just going to fall off and it's going to leave you with patchy skin, which we don't want. So I'm going to show you first of all how to hydrate and exfoliate your skin at the same time. I'm going to use a product called Exfolies and I'm going to spray it onto my skin. So as I'm spraying this product onto my arm, what's happening is the organic aloe vera is hydrating the skin. I'm then going to take my buffing mitt because the fruit acids are just munching away at those dead skin cells. And with my buffing mitt, which is going to aid its foliation, I'm now going to give my skin a really good buff. So what we've got now is a completely clean canvas that's super hydrated and it's ready to take the tanning product. Now I'm going to show you how to use a 4% DHA product. Now DHA is your self tanning agent and a 4% is for our English rose complexions. It's a very light to medium colour but it can be customised, you can use it twice to make it darker if you wish. But I'm going to show you how to apply it. So, taken a little bit of the bronzing cream for here. This is organic aloe vera and 4% DHA, so again, it's super hydrating. We're going to rub this all into the skin, nice and gently. Always take your time when you're applying your fake tan. You want to make sure that you've actually got into every area, that you've bent your elbow because we've got, we've got that sort of baggy skin on our elbow. And if I just go across, in the creases it could miss. So you want to make sure that you bend the elbow and you really pull your fake tan across the elbow, rubbing it all in on the inside of your arm and the outside of the arm. Now when we come to the wrist, I'm going to drop my wrist and make it limp. I'm going to bring the residue across my wrist and I'm going to make a claw with my fingers and I'm going to bring the residue into my knuckles and into all these little lines here. If I was to keep my hand straight and just bring fake tan down, when I wiggled my fingers like this, I'd have little white lines. So what we want to make sure is that we've blended the tan all into the arm, we've got the limp wrist, we've brought it across the wrist, and then we've clawed up our hand, and then that way it's going to get into all of those lovely areas. And because we've gone heavier at the arm and lighter on the hand, we're going to have that beautiful fade away look, and that's the look you want. You're never going to pick up your fake cream and put it onto the palm of your hand and start rubbing it in and getting it all into the corners of your fingers here. We don't do that. We just take it along to the arm, pull the residue down and across the knuckles and then you're going to end up with the most amazing, perfect tan. And that technique works all over the body. You can apply your bronzing cream for to the le onto the leg, you can stop it here and then just bring the residue across the front of your foot and around your ankle so that you've never got that heavy, too heavy look on the top of your feet.